So when working with code spaces, keep in mind that the time that you are spending on a code space is being tracked and you're being charged for it. Even though there is a free plan, you're always being accounted for your usage that you can look at by going to settings, billings and plan, plans and usage. And if you come down here, you can see the usage for your code spaces. So right now, this is what my usage looks like. So if I go beyond my usage, I will be charged extra. If you're on a free plan, you'll be charged extra. Even if I use pro plan, I do have 180 hours, core hours included. But if I overdo or overuse my allocated quota, I will have to pay for it. So one thing that is important is to keep the usage on GitHub code spaces to as minimum as possible. So whenever you need it, you need that. After that, you just stop so that you are not being accounted for the usage. Now, in order to be mindful for that, you can come to three icons. You can come to GitHub code spaces. And here you will see the list of all your GitHub code spaces that are available. Some of them are not being running. So this one says last active was six hours ago, but this one is active. So if I'm not using right now this code space, the one thing is that I can go ahead and I can say stop code space. This is one way to do that. Otherwise, if you are in the GitHub repository, you can still access that by coming to code space, click on these three dots and say stop code space. And it says your code space is now stopped, which means it exists but you're not being charged for the hours of the usage. So this is what it looks like at the moment. And the other thing that you can do is you can start your code space if you have to, by just by clicking on the code space and it'll start the development environment for you. And let's say you are done with using any of your code spaces. You can also go ahead and delete that. So for example, if I click on these three dots and click delete, this code space uh, will be deleted. Now, tells me that I have unpushed changes. I made some changes in the code spaces and it has not been version controlled. In, in this case, it is giving me a warning whether or not I want to delete it. So I do not care about the changes at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So using that, you can either start, stop, or delete your code space to keep your overall cost in check when using GitHub code spaces.